Hello and welcome everybody to our webinar one click archiving and email journaling with Workpoint Express. We are very happy to see you all here and hope you will enjoy the webinar and hopefully learn a few things. My name is Florian Neuhold and I will guide you today through this webinar. So first, if you have any questions, that's very important for us. Do not hesitate to put them to the Q&A's. We are very open to help you and try to answer the, the questions. So that's very important for us to get feedback, to get questions, um, to have some interactions here. So I promise you I will have an, an eye on this and we prepared also a few minutes after the presentation where we were answering your questions. But first, I would say we start with with a with a short introduction into this. So I will start with a short PowerPoint presentation. So as you can see here, we will start with the, we have today the Workpoint Express. So one click archiving and email journaling with Workpoint Express. Um, that's the topic for today. So today um, I'm your presenter as well. So Florian Neuhold, I'm working in the product management and marketing department at Workpoint. And um, we have another presenter here and I'm very happy that he is here. Um, it's Ellen Junker-Petersen, um, our technical product manager and also partner. So the topics for today, we will cover the Workpoint Express. It's um, about the general introduction um, and also about key applications. And of course, we will also show you a demo. And the second point is email management. So we explore how Workpoint, um, the Workpoint email manager can benefit your organization that your day or your life and in your work is easier and easier. And also here we will show a demo solution. So a few words to start into the webinar about Workpoint. So who are we? We are a Danish software company. Um, and we are we're one of the first mover into the cloud um, because we understand that this is the future, of course. Um, we're providing solutions for more than 25 years now, so um, quite a long time and a long experience as well. So one of our biggest, um, I would say, strong feelings and goals is um, that we are a close relationship with Microsoft. So we are Microsoft 365 Gold Partner. Um, that's that's a big, big thing for us. Um, so. Also, we are partner driven and that's because we have a global reach, so that's very fine. And also we have a flat organizational structure. These webinars are very important for us also to educate Workpoint partners as well, but also like um, now in this uh, webinar as a as a for a product, we, we try to yeah, educate as well customers to get new customers through these webinars as well. So, but don't trust me just alone. Um, we, you see, this all points are very important. I think that's a big, 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 big reference for for our company. We are Microsoft Gold Partner. I will not go through every point, but you can see it here. It's um, we are a member of the Microsoft ISF board. Um, we are named the 20 most promising SharePoint distributors in a review magazine. So we have a a lot of references, um, and we are very proud on this as well. Some of the customers, I think that's every time interesting as a as a yeah attendee of a webinar to see which customers does the, the company has. And if you can see on the left side, we have really a big range in which sectors we're working. So we have the banking, legal, manufacturing, accounting. But for us, it very important is that we are focusing in a little bit or we go a little bit in the accounting, public sector and construction. But of course, in other every company which has, of course, a lot of data um, and the needs of this to to organize and things like this, we are very open, of course. So what all these sectors have in common is that they all have a Microsoft 365 strategy. That's that's very important and all need governance. They have have a need for business solutions, um, also for process support. Um, they have a lot of documents and that are document centric. And of course, they are information, information and, and knowledge heavy, so they have a lot of data. But that was it for me, just a short introduction into our Workpoint um, company. Um, now, for me, it's very nice to see that we have a nice, nice presenter here as well. So. I want to introduce Ellen 
um, technical product management and, and, and partners. So I hope um, he is ready for us um, and can share his content and start to demo and show um, his solution. OK, thank you for that, Florian. Um, I'm also happy to be here. I hope that you can all see uh, my screen now. I'm sharing a, a slideshow here for you. And I'm going today to give you an introduction into WorkPoint Express, uh, which we say is your WorkPoint solution right at hand. So we'll both talk a little about different features in it. And uh, from I'll give you some screenshots here in, in PowerPoint. Uh, and I'll also uh, do some demos of uh, selected things I think would that would be of interest to you. First of all, uh, Express is about accessing your WorkPoint solution. So we, you have a WorkPoint solution that you could build up for maybe for a project management system or a case management system or many different kind of business application uh, is being built on WorkPoint. But you need to have access to your data. Um, you need it to have an easy access, so it's easy and straightforward uh, to handle documents, emails, uh, the projects, your clients and so on. It should be accessible um, and, and WorkPoint Express is designed to make WorkPoint available uh, where the user needs it. Uh, and also it should be natural to use, so it should be having a seamless integration with the, the application that you work in. And that was actually where uh, the history of WorkPoint Express started was that we first built WorkPoint without this tool. But people came to us and say that, well, yeah, we, we have a lot of especially emails in Outlook that we need to handle somehow because a lot of knowledge is being sent uh, to us uh, through uh, Outlook. And also, of course, we send a lot of information there. So somehow we need to have that information saved in the right location in our system. So we have documentation for all communication being done, for example, within a, a product. Um, and with WorkPoint Express, it's uh, possible to work directly in Outlook uh, or from one of the other Office applications like Word, Excel or, or PowerPoint as well. So in in the daily work where you are sitting in Outlook and sending email, for example, attaching file, receiving files and so on, uh, you will have directly access to our WorkPoint using the WorkPoint Express plugin. Uh, and the, the idea is that we you can use that so we make sure that you collaborate with your colleagues. Uh, uh, if you send emails uh, across a team, for example, you can all, all share the same email uh, through the system. Um, and using our tool, uh, you can manage and structure all the emails and, and documents directly from Outlook. And, and often we actually say that a lot of the work that you need to do in WorkPoint, uh, you can actually do that directly from this WorkPoint Express. Uh, and we actually have many uh, end users that are only using this plugin as a, a client for our system. Um, it's possible to journal and archive emails and documents uh, using drag and drop and also some other tools that I'll show you directly from Outlook. And that was actually the main objective when we started was that it should be easy when you receive an email to have it saved in the system so you have a full documentation of all communication um, and also you can find your project or a case or whatever you're working on uh, and you can make sure that the email is being saved in the right location there Um, and if you see here a screenshot of uh, Outlook, uh, you will see that our plugin is the tool that you have on the right side of the screen uh, where uh, it says WorkPoint Express and you have access to the solution. And, and this is the place where you will see Express. This is in the right side of uh, either Outlook, uh, Word, Excel or PowerPoint. And this is from here you can interact with the, with the system. Um, but I think I will just go to a demo of the application. So if I change here to my Outlook, um, this is just the standard desktop Outlook that I have here where I have installed WorkPoint Express on top of that. And what that means is that I actually have access to my WorkPoint solution directly from Outlook now. I can browse the various uh, modules that I have in WorkPoint, for example, look up a company or a contact or I'll find a project as I have preloaded here. Uh, and if I find a project, I can actually see all the content of the project. 
I can also uh, use views and things like that that you probably know from SharePoint. So I could choose that. Well, I'll only search within my projects. I will uh, search in all projects and I can actually create different filtering on on the projects that I see. So it becomes even easier for me to uh, find a specific project. I can also uh, search uh, throughout the whole system directly from this tool so I can find a document or any element uh, across all things I have access to. Uh, and this also means that I can search inside documents, inside emails directly from this plugin. Uh, we have favorite controls so I can mark a project as a favorite and make it easy accessible the, directly from the tool here. But as you see here, I have loaded a, a project uh, and within the project I have different uh, uh, boxes of things I can look at. For example, I have a, a library of documents here. I have a library of emails, uh, tasks uh, and so on. Uh, and if I start with the, uh, with the documents that I'm seeing here, uh, you can see that I can see all documents within the projects, all folders. I can navigate to the folders directly from here. Uh, and if I select a specific uh, document, there's a lot of things I can actually do with it from here. Uh, I can choose to open the document uh, here and edit it. Then Word will open the document uh, and I can work as usually from there. Uh, I can do all things that you would expect, like uh, cut and copy the paste or paste it in somewhere. I can delete it um, and I can do things like uh, showing a preview, for example, of the document. And doing that, you see here, there's an example here of the preview being loaded. I can also see the uh, properties of the documents. I can see there's an ID on it and there's some status being set. Moving back to the preview, uh, I'm also able actually to switch between different documents and the preview will load. Um, and actually the preview here, if you don't want it to, have, to be this uh, window uh, on top of uh, your Outlook, it can also be shown uh, at the screen and just below the, um, the library here. Um, that depends a little on how you would like it to work and how much, uh, how big it should be. But that makes it very easy to find all your documents, work with them, uh, easily get a preview uh, and, and do a lot of uh, things there. It could also be other things than, than documents that you look at. It could, for example, be a list of uh, tasks that you want to view here. And as you can see here, I have a, a list of tasks being showed here with uh, all the metadata that I have on the task. I can see who have they been assigned to and so on. Uh, and I can also, again, change the view so I can see uh, different uh, things. For example, I could choose to group uh, all my uh, tasks here by, by which states of the projects they have been created in. Uh, and I could actually also do even more grouping. Say I also want it to be grouped by uh, assigned to. So a lot of options. And if you know uh, SharePoint where all the data lies, you will see that this is a, a way that we can actually have the functionality that you have from the list of SharePoint being used directly in Outlook here through using this uh, tool. So as I said before, a lot of the work that you need to do, you can do directly from in here. One of the things that started this journey of creating this product was actually we need to be able to save our emails when we are uh, sending and re receiving emails. So one of the things I could do was that you can see here, I received an email now from uh, Florian. I could say that I want to uh, save this email uh, and I could do that just by dragging that over to my email folder and doing that it will now upload the email uh, to the uh, library here and if I go to the email tab now you will see that the uh, new requirement here we go here we have the email has just been uh, loaded into the solution. Um, so that makes it very easy for the end user to save the email. And the important point of this is that this makes sure that the users want to do it. Um, we, are, we really mean it when we say things should be easy uh, for, for users to do. Because if it's not easy, a uh, user will tend to forget to get the email journalized or they will just uh, ignore it. And it's so important that we have that done all the time. This was an example of an email I saved, but it could actually also be uh, a document that I'm receiving. So if I go here to the um, email thread here, you can see the message I sent to him was actually containing a, an attachment uh, and I can take that attachment 
and drag it over to the document library here, just in the same way uh, that you saw before. And now it's actually being saved in a document library. And if there were metadata that I wanted that was required on this library, uh, the system would have prompted me. So it makes sure that uh, I got all the information being uh, correctly uh, uh, saved in, in, in WorkPoint. So again, that makes it so easy to get the emails, the attachment uh, into the system. So relevant information for, for example, for a project will be saved uh, in the right location with minimal uh, effort from the uh, end user. And the other way around, it's also possible for me to use this uh, tool when I want to uh, send a new email. So in this example, I'm actually sending a new email. Uh, and again, I have access to the plugin over here where it now remembers that I was actually looking at the development of a new pump project before. Uh, again, it shows me the uh, all the documents from that project and I could say that, well, uh, this specific document, I actually want that to be saved uh, or be added as an attachment, or I could also insert it as a link or uh, even as a PDF. If I insert it, uh, attach it as a PDF, the system will convert the document into a PDF and attach, attach that to, um, to the email. I can also use the system to look up email addresses. Uh, so for example, in this case, uh, we have uh, company and contact information in here as well. So if I want to find a, a contact, uh, I have uh, one example here. I can just take that and drag it directly into uh, my mail. And then that way I get access to both contact information, documents that I want to attach, and can actually use this um, very easily to get uh, an email sent. Uh, and if you could imagine that, for example, uh, attaching a, a document uh, as a PDF would be something that could easily take uh, quite a few steps uh, in many other systems. That would be something like, well, take the Word document, open it, uh, save it as PDF to the desktop, go into Outlook, and then attach it from here. So uh, by using the Workman Express tool, you will do that with very few steps uh, and clicks in, in the system. Uh, and that's uh, also very important for us. Another thing that the system could do was actually that if I want to send an email, I'll just open a new one. Uh, I'll send that to Florian. Of course, I could attach information here, but I'll just send it for this uh, demo here. The system can actually prompt me uh, for saving the email. So immediately after I click send on the email, uh, this dialog comes up where I'm actually being said that you just send this email called webinar. Where do you want to save it? Then I could find some location in in WorkPoint where I want to save it. I'll just click uh, here on the emails, uh, and I will journalize that email. So in that way, it's a uh, it's directly uh, interacting with the user uh, when they are sending emails, so we are sure to remember the, them about that they need to save it. Of course, the option here of having this dialogue coming up every time you send an email might be a little uh, intrusive to some people. So if you prefer not to have that, of course, that's an option. So you, as a user, you can decide to actually want this dialogue to come up uh, and if not you can disable it. you can actually also add as an administrator force every users to be prompted for this if you really want to make sure as an organization that people are actually saving your emails um, another example of the way that we can journalize uh, information is that i now have this the email thread here where i send an email to florian and he has responded uh, if i click on that uh, on the latest mail here. You can see I have here WorkPoint Express down here and I can click Quick Journalize. I can also do it with a keyboard shortcut. So if I'm pressing Control J, of course you cannot see that. You're actually uh, seeing the same um, dialogue as you just, just saw before. And if I had actually selected the thread, let's try to do that. It will actually take all the emails from the thread and put it into uh, the uh, the dialogue here. This is what we call the quick journalize. Um, in that way, I'm now seeing that, well, there's two emails in that thread here. 
there's the initial email and then the reply. Uh, and then there's also an attachment to one of them. And then I can say that, well, both the emails, I want to save them somewhere in WorkPoint. And I can just find a, um, a location here. I might want to save the emails into this project that I have here. Uh, and by the way, the attachment that was sent, I also need to have that saved in the document library and I want to go that go that should go into the design folder and I add that again here and after setting that up I can click journalize and now the system will take both the emails and the attachment and save that into the system so that becomes very easy for me to have multiple e emails being journalized in um, in a nice way um, I think I will go back to my presentation now you a little about, more about other features because uh, we also have a lot of other more we can say process specific or detailed or advanced features in WorkPoint Express. The things I showed you in the demo was just mainly the uh, the core feature of Express uh, but one of the things you could do actually was also to uh, integrate uh, with uh, some kind of a digital uh, signature provider that could be something like uh, Panera at Adobe Sign or uh, there are a lot of different tools that allow you to digital uh, sign your documents and that can be started directly from WorkPoint Express. So when you have the uh, document in, in Express in Outlook, you can actually send that for a digital uh, signature to someone else uh, without actually leaving Outlook uh, and uh, the WorkPoint system. You could also, uh, I showed you that you could convert a PDF that you want to save uh, uh, attached to an email, but you can actually also just do a plain conversion. Click on a document in Outlook, uh, click convert to a PDF. That's what I'm showing you here in the screenshot. Uh, and then uh, files are being uh, converted to PDF and you can select which kind of PDF uh, format or standard do you want to use. Should it be something for your, uh, the UA standard or should it be uh, the, the standard 1.7 PDF format? That's up to you to choose um, as part of the system configuration. Uh, you can also also merge PDFs together. So if you have multiple documents, you can actually put them into one PDF uh, and you can also save it, uh, documents into zip archives uh, if, if you want to, for example, use that for distributing a set of documents to somewhere. Um, it's also possible for you to uh, extend Boypoint Express, uh, do your own customization to the product. For example, you could actually add your own action. So when I click on a project in Boypoint Express, you could actually add things like maybe a, a shortcut that will link to the ERP system or do a Google search or, or something that relates to the uh, project. You can also build in uh, Power Apps or your own web controls to show um, or custom web controls to show more information. And, and that's actually the things I'm showing in the right uh, example here that I'm actually looking up a, a company. Uh, in this case, our, our self WorkPoint. And I've actually added a, a custom control here in, uh, in Express uh, CVR lookup, which is the Danish um, company register, uh, where I now uh, on the fly will look up information from a website uh, regarding the customer where, that I'm standing on. And this can be used for so many different applications. This could be for looking up more information in another system that you have that is maybe related to the project. Uh, it could be implementing a, a power app that will be, be shown directly in uh, WorkPoint Express so you can build your own logic uh, that you want uh, on top of our system. So a lot of things is, is possible uh, for extending our system. Uh, um, yeah. And if you want to go even further, we also have a product called the uh, email manager uh, that is available in, in two different versions. But uh, first of all, we have a version where things are being installed in a database that is connected with WorkPoint. And then we have the new email manager for SharePoint, which is a, uh, where we use uh, the SharePoint as uh, storage for all your emails. And what that does is it makes it even more easy for you to handle your emails. Uh, and and some of the features that we um, that I'm that I'll show you about show you a little in a little while is that it's actually possible for you to 
get suggestion for where do I want to save an email? Um, and that suggestion is, is rather intelligent. It is looking up previous email that you have sent with that customer. So if I'm sending a, a, an email to a client that I have, the system will, and I'll receive an email from that client afterward, the system will look up the uh, information about that uh, co uh, client and see where have I have saved emails before. Uh, and I will uh, be able to get some good suggestion for where to save the mail. Again, it's about making things uh, easy. It's also um, uh, uh, about seeing where emails have been saved. Uh, I said, told you before that is this is also about collaboration. So if I'm if I'm sending an email to a client and maybe the client is responding both to me and, and Florian, we will both basically receive the same email uh, and then Florian might want to take the email and save it uh, into Outlook somewhere, uh, save it into a project somewhere, but I would like to be able to see that in my uh, Outlook. So I will be able to see that well that email that was sent to me and Florian is saved in two different locations uh, maybe and I can actually see the locations uh, directly from Outlook and I can see that okay Florian has already taken care of that email so I don't do it again. Um, the final feature which I will talk about uh, today uh, and that's actually a brand new feature of uh, of the email manager and also uh, Waypoint Express is that we are now able to synchronize folder in your personal Outlook uh, folder system uh, to Waypoint. And this I'll try to demonstrate to you because that's a, a brand new thing that most of you have probably not seen yet. If I go to this environment here, again, I'm in Outlook. Uh, I have my Workpoint Express here. Uh, I've loaded a project and I have the email tab here. Uh, and right now the email tab is, is actually, uh, the email library is empty. So you can see there's no email in here. On the same hand, I have, in my left side of the screen, I have my folder structure in Outlook, and I know that many of you users actually build up big uh, folder structures here in the left side of Outlook with your own folders uh, representing the projects and the work that you are doing. Uh, and one example is here that I've created a folder called My Project, where I have added, uh, I think, uh, about three emails here, as you can see, but right now they're actually not uh, stored in WorkPoint. And I could, of course, just uh, select all these three emails and drag it, them over. But some users actually prefer to use these folders uh, for different um, uh, purposes. Um, and there's also some benefit of keeping in, in your old fo own folder structure. But what I can do now is that I can click here on the folder, go to my Workpoint Express settings, uh, and here it will um, request me to map this to WorkPoint. So what that means is that this specific folder, I can map that into a location in WorkPoint. So I'll open my project here. And I find my email library here. And I map that uh, directly from this system. Uh, doing that, I will now be able to have my folder over here uh, being synchronized with WorkPoint because I've just did the mapping now, I'll just start a, a synchronization, uh, synchronized with WorkPoint. And what happens now is that a job is being started uh, at the uh, engine of WorkPoint, uh, and that will now take all the emails from this uh, folder and put them into uh, the folder in WorkPoint automatically. Uh, typically, this will take uh, 20 to 30 seconds. So we'll just do a refresh over here and see if they're coming in yet. Not yet, but they will be here in about, uh, I'll say 10 seconds. So let's hope that uh, works. But the idea is that now we have in the engine of WorkPoint, we have a registration of the mapping between a folder in a personal Outlook uh, and in WorkPoint. And now we have them here. You can see now that the three emails was being loaded into WorkPoint, all the metadata is being filled out with from to, and it actually worked just the same way if you have done it manually. But the whole point of doing is that in the future now, when I'm receiving an email, instead of dragging the email directly uh, to the email library over here, I can now just take that email and put that into my project. 
So that might be the way that I'm already working. And now the system will just support that you get your emails journalized uh, automatically. Uh, again, it takes a few seconds, uh, but hopefully uh, we'll be able to see that in the demo before I stop. But the email I just added into that folder uh, will be here in a few seconds. Yeah, here we go. Now you can see that this uh, email from Microsoft was uh, uploaded automatically to the system. Um, and I actually didn't need it to do anything using the tool over here. And you can say, why do you actually want to do that? Because you it's you could say that it's just as easy as dragging things over to the library here as it is to your folder. But in that way, we can actually do things like setting up rules, for example, in your Outlook that will forward emails to um, your folder and it will be picked up. You can also use other email tools or clients like on your mobile phone. So if I'm standing on my mobile phone where I can also move an email to uh, uh, another folder in my Outlook, uh, this will also be picked up. So this is not something running on your desktop. This is something running in the engine of Workpun that monitors uh, all the e emails coming into to that user. So this demo kind of finalizes what I would like to show you about Workpun Express today, and I think I'll give the word back to uh, Florian now. Thank you very much, Alan. This was very, very interesting. Um, I will share my screen again to get um, the, the questions on it, um, or be, we have one slide with the questions on time for questions. Um, Alan, just for you, I sent you the question as well because there are some some of them a little bit longer. So um, I will definitely read it because then everybody um, know what we are talking about. But of, of course, it's easier maybe for you when you read it for yourself as well. And in the first question is a, a little bit a language problem for me. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I hope you can you can um, answer the, the first question on your own. Maybe you can read it and then can answer it. Yeah. Uh, when the, the, someone is asking when will uh, create document from template get fixed in Wipon Express Express 6. Uh, to my knowledge, that should be uh, working. Uh, I don't know that. I guess there must be some specific uh, ticket about that so that we can follow up on. But if I go here to my system, and of course you're not seeing my screen anymore, but I could have shown you that that I can do that directly from uh, Express. So, uh, but I think you should uh, get in contact with our support team if if you have any issues there. Um, okay. So, so no, normally for for everybody, normally it should work. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I haven't heard that it, that this didn't this didn't work, and I can give you a demo of this if you want. Uh, that's not a problem. But if you have any uh, further question in regard to that, we should probably take that uh, after the the webinar here. Yeah. So the second question is: uh, so we use uh, Workpoint Express to save received and sent emails from our members. If I would like to save both the ingoing and outgoing email, I will have to find the member when sent the email and find the member again in the right side of the screen. When I want to save the received email, it means searching for the member two times. So that's the question I meant. Also, it's a very long question, so I think that's easier to read it by your own. Yeah. Um, I, th I think when you, when you want to uh, sending or saving the uh, ingoing and the outgoing email is a thing that will naturally be split into two times. So this will not be something you do at the same time properly. So uh, so so first you will uh, you will receive the email maybe and you will journalize that and then you will send it afterwards uh, a reply. But what you actually could have done was that if you waited with um, Journalizing the first email that you received, you could have used the quick journalize that just showed that I showed you, where you are actually able to click uh, quick journalize on the thread, and there you can pick both the emails that was being sent uh, and also the email being received in the same step. So you only need to find that in in one step. Um, so I, I think that's uh, that's possible. But of course, if you start by sending an email outgoing. Uh, to and then you get an email back the, the following day. Uh, you'll need to do the search again. S having that said, we are actually working on in the future supporting 
a little more intelligence around regarding that so future replies to a thread could get automatically saved in in workpoint but we we are not there yet but this is actually something that we are working on perfect so then we go on directly that's hard work elena no um what is the easiest way to journalize one single email and add properties at the same time well, I actually think that uh, it, it kind of yeah, if it's a single email, I will just use the uh, the drag and drop way, drag it into the uh, 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 to the document or to the email library. And what you can set up in your setting is that you are being you can just determine when do we want to be prompted for uh, these uh, properties. You can either choose that you are not prompted at all. You can choose that if it requires metadata. So if you have properties that are mandatory. It will prompt you and you can also decide that you will always be prompted so immediately after uh, dragging the email into the email library you will be prompted with the property dialogue where you can fill out the information in that step i think that's the easiest way to do it perfect now, then we go to the next one is it possible to add a create new case button in workpoint express where it opens a power app instead of standard workpoint for creating a new case um, unfortunately, that's not currently possible, as I remember. I, I've, I've, we definitely have that as a request for the product, and it's also something we have looked into. Uh, but I, as I remember, this is uh, still not possible to to do. Uh, we can we have two options. We can use the standard SharePoint form, or you can use our visage that we have for creating a new uh, case, for example. But but right now, uh, it's not possible for us to. Uh, or we haven't implemented the support for a power app directly here yet. But okay. it is definitely on our wish list. Perfect. Um, I have also two new questions. Um, I did not send it to you, so now you, it's a surprise. Um, what version of Workpoint Express are you using, Alan? Because I can not find the preview version in my Workpoint, and I have the version for you as well. It's the 6.112. Yeah. Uh, there's a little catch with with this. Uh, I'm I don't remember what specific version I'm running, but it is working in that version that you have. The thing is that there is, a, and that is also documented in our support uh, portal, that you must in your settings when you added your site uh, in your WorkPoint Express settings. There's a. Well, I actually think I should show you that. Uh, can I take the screen, uh, Florian? Of, of course you can. That's absolutely it, no problem. It will probably be too difficult for me to explain. Yeah, so. yeah, it's easier and, and better to show it. So I'll take the screen now again. I'm back in Outlook now. So and yeah, you can see the screen now uh, in order to have the preview working. If you go to the setting of Express. And you'll find uh, this is the demo that I done. This information down here, the tenant information that need to be there, and that's because we need to use the Office Graph for, for or the Microsoft Graph for doing um, for doing this preview. So it's not very clear at the moment. It's, it's listed in our documentation, but this actually need to be filled out. So I'm 90% sure that this is your problem and why you cannot see it. Okay. You are muted, I think. Well, now, now I'm back. <laughs> so um, we have also a, a, an, a, another question we have. It's um, when two members in the email journalize the same email in the project folder. Does the system see this or will it be stored twice? Um, so I, I guess that the um, the question is, if, if you're thinking about that question was regarding the the last feature that I showed you. Uh, as I remember, if it's the same email with the same timestamp, it will only be either it will be only saved once in WorkPoint, or it will be saved with a where it's appending with another number. Um, when but doing this synchronization of a folder, uh, there's not really anything that the user sees because it all happens uh, be behind in the WorkPoint engine. So, so you don't uh, get any information about that. So, I, I actually think that when if you have both uh, two folders being synchronized uh, with WorkPoint, 
uh, and you are mapped to a work point, uh, and you're putting the same emails in there, I think they will be duplicated in there. If you're using um, our um, email manager feature where you can actually see the location of an email being saved, you would be able to see that. So uh, when you are going to save an email, you could actually see in the uh, in the bottom of the email that you can see, OK, this has actually already been emailed uh, and been saved into WordPoint. So uh, so hopefully you wouldn't do it again. And if you actually do drop the same email in WordPoint, you will actually be uh, uh, being told or there will be a dialogue saying that, well, this email already exists uh, and do you want to override it or uh, what do you want to do with it? We have one more, Alan. Um, is there a WorkPoint plugin for Office, for example, Word? For, yeah, for, for, for Word? Yes, yeah. uh, the, the, uh, the Express plugin can, uh, can run in well will run in word excel and powerpoint uh, so if i'm uh, standing in 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 word you will actually be able to have access to all the uh, more or less all the features that you saw just in outlook um, again i think uh, i can just show you that very briefly you you can st steal my screen again i'll do that <laughs> You can see now I've just opened up Outlook here in, in the background. Uh, and again, you have access to WorkPoint Express. Now it just need to load up the uh, solution here because I didn't prepare that. Uh, but uh, after, a while, after a while here, you'll see that now I have the same system here. And actually remember that I was looking at this contact before you saw in the demo, but, but I could find uh, the project again, development of a new pump, for example, here. Uh, find uh, uh, a document library or uh, where I want to, this document to be saved. And then we have this upload to SharePoint function here, which uh, will then take this document that you have just written and save it in WorkPoint. And of course, you could also do a lot of other things directly uh, from uh, here. Uh, you could choose to create new content in here or look up information that you might want to use to, to create a, a, or to put in as content in this document. So there's a lot of options for here. Uh, and this is the ex exact same uh, situation with uh, Excel and PowerPoint where you can do the, uh, the same thing in there. OK, I think we, we are done with the with the questions. So there were quite a lot, but I think that's always a good sign that the people are, are totally into the webinar. So thank you very much, Alan, for the presentation and also for answering the questions um yes i think we are at the end so i hope you enjoyed the presentation of course one thing for us is very important that um we wanted to say that of course thank you to the, and to, um, for joining the, the webinar but if you are interested in another webinar we have on thursday the 18th of november our quality insurance with workpoint 365 webinar and also in december we will have a lot of interesting webinars for example the tablet handling or one with the title workpoint on top of sharepoint which is very very interesting i think so so please check out our homepage. also our sh social media channels will be there will be definitely content on it um, when the webinars will start or you will definitely get the invitation so Thank you very much, Ellen, again. Thank you very much to you and have a nice day. Bye.